Barb, I'll go to you because we just we just ran through a whole list uh, of names, and I guess we'll start with Snowflake. Whether it's the results themselves or whether it's succession plans, when you're talking about a heavyweight within the tech space, space that's now retiring. Yeah, I think Snowflake has yet to really live up to its long-term potential. I mean, it's we know it's scalable, it's flexible, it's really uh, seems to be the uh, the technology of the future in that space, but. They have not been um, at top ticking in terms of their um, their growth. And so even today, I owned a little bit in portfolios and I sold it. You know, I sold it was only held in five accounts, but I sold it because just reading and getting updated on the flow and the macro uncertainty and their clients and where they are with AI, I thought there's really too much out there. And the stock has had a big run this year and also last year. And it's not cheap. At 243 times forward earnings, I said that was, I said there is no room for error here. So I think that's actually a big problem is that it just is not living quite up to the expectations, which I think is probably why Nutanix is down. I mean, that also, you know, I think the expectations there were great. And the stock is up almost 23% year to date, over 100% um, in the last year. So I think that's also a little bit of a victim of uh, high expectations. Uh, yeah, but uh, once we get to those numbers, uh, we, we might see that those expectations have been met. Uh, pure storage, I want to mention. We're not going to give you those numbers right now, but it is up 9% after hours. Uh, we're going to hear from the CEO, Charlie Giancarlo, on the other side of the next break. Mike Santoli, this is a strong showing from some enterprise names across hardware and software. If we're talking about pure storage, we're talking about the actual results, if not the move from Nutanix, from C3AI. Snowflake, perhaps the exception, but yeah. there's a story building here post NVIDIA. It, it does seem as if that's the case. And the market in general has kind of been on pause since the initial pop following NVIDIA's numbers. I keep talking about that this morning. We've gone sideways for a week, and that's okay, kind of digesting it. Uh, this is the tail end of, of the important earnings, so I do think that, you know, this is going to round out the picture of a not just better than expected, but a, a, an earnings trajectory that is probably outperforming what you might have expected, and it solidifies the idea that we did have a real inflection in the third quarter of last year. That's big picture stuff. Right now, in terms of what you're talking about, in terms of the willingness of investors to put those old big multiples on, on some of the software names, that remains to be seen.